So after creating the name ranges, we are going to validate a few cells. The first cell we're going to validate is our supplier name. Uh, supplier name. We're going to go ahead here and go to select the cell, go to data, go to uh, data validation, click on lists, and then you can either write the name of the uh, named range that you have here, type it out, or if you can't quite remember the name, click on F3 on your keyboard, it brings up the, the named ranges. So we need the supply names and click OK. OK. So now all we need to do is select a supplier. So next up, we're also going to validate this with the, the data, the item list. So click on the data validation, click on list and then click on F3 and then choose item list. Okay. So instead of uh, validating each cell, you can, uh, you can highlight all of them like so, and then do the same list F3 item list. Okay. So, uh, so how do we then automate this so that data can come automatically here? So we're going to use a function called uh, xlookup. So this is the syntax. The lookup value is the value you want to look for. I want to look for the supplier name. So to absolutely reference that, hold uh, F4 on your keyboard and then comma. The next argument is the lookup array. So a lookup array is the, 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 the array or the table or the range of cells you want to look up the name. So I want to look up it up in our supplier database table, supplier.db. But we don't want the whole table, we want a specific column. So to bring up the columns, type in the opening square brackets. So if you type in the square brackets, it brings up a suggestion of uh, values you can choose from. So for me, I want the supplier name. And then close it out with another square brackets, closing square brackets. So that's the, the, the second argument. The third argument is what is, do you want to return? After you have found it or not found it, after you have found it, return a supplier table as well. Supplier DB table and then opening square brackets and we want, so I'm navigating with the up and down arrows. So I want to navigate to the address, click on tab and then close the brackets. If not found, what if we don't find the supplier name? We just want to return an empty. So an empty string is two double quotes. And then the other argument is the match mode. We want an exact match. And then the last is search direction, first to last. The match mode is always set to exact match as the default. And search mode is always first to last as the default. So if we leave it there, the formula will still work as, as intended. So it has brought us the address. So the same will be done to the email equals x lookup. Then uh, we want to look to, to look the up the supplier name. Absolutely reference that using F4. And then lookup array is a supplier table. Just start typing supplier. And then uh, navigate to supplier name. And then navigate to return. I want us to return as something in the supplier table and i want to return the email column and if not found just give me an empty and the match mode is set to exact and the search mode is first to last as the default so at least now you know how to write it up so you can just drag this down and then change the value of the email to read the phone number like so and then we can also let's type it out for the id X lookup lookup value is uh, again is the supplier name absolutely reference that lookup array is the supplier table and the supplier name column and then return array the supplier table and then the supplier ID match mode if not found give me an empty string like so so now if we change this value to rig supplier the address the email the phone and the id will change if we change this to prime mover the 
supply ID, the address, the email, and the phone number would change as well. 